right. Thanks, uh, Bugs, uh, calling me for this uh, session and the Mano for uh, facilitating it. Um, today, I, initially, I thought um, to talk about uh, uh, certain things which helpful to uh, on your professional side, but then I felt uh, why don't we have professional, personal, and social? So that three aspect I have uh, want to share. So that's where this mat. I thought, okay, everybody should acquire the mat. Uh, basically, uh, we we always try to do certain things, but uh, uh, our uh, environment helps sometimes, but. Uh, our uh, situation not uh, helps, uh, but if our situation helps, our personally our timings are not allowing to do. If time allows, our um, mind is not allowing, or physically we are not able to do certain things. So let's start with the, the mindset because we always believe that uh, we all are doing perfect, and uh, we again and again we are proving and we are practicing all the best things which are available across the industries in our industries and learning from so many forums. So we are trying to prove again and again, we are better, we are better, we are better. So that is the fixed mindset we have. Okay. And um, there's a smaller story and uh, you would have heard it earlier. If you heard it earlier, please uh, raise the hand. See, uh, there is a, a research center in that uh, one room. They put uh, three monkeys and uh, then they put a bunch of bananas in a hook on the uh, roof. And then they kept one rope as well as they kept the one ladder in that uh, room. And uh, after some time, this uh, monkey started looking at uh, bananas which are hanging there. And then one of the monkeys started trying to put the rope on the hook next to that. And then it was trying to tie up with uh, the window bars and another one trying to climb it and try to. So by the time half of the rope, it climbed and suddenly there's a hot water poured on the monkey. So they said, no, oh, you are doing something wrong. That's why uh, that the hot water is poured on you. Why don't I try? So another one is getting tried. So 75% it reached and by the time, again, hot water getting poured. And the third one is saying, I think you guys are not so great. I am the great person. I will go. Up to 95% reached about to grab that uh, banana. So again, that hot water poured. And the three of them said, no, something wrong. We are doing it. So the moment all sit quiet, and uh, they got the, each one of them got two bananas and their stomachs are full. And they said, the, why we unnecessarily put uh, all the effort to climb and grab this banana? So if we sit quiet, we are getting the banana without putting any effort. So that's the one thing happened. And they enjoyed uh, getting it uh, banana every uh, meal time. So after a few weeks, uh, Instead of uh, three banana, like they pick, took one uh, monkey out and they put one new one inside. So that new one started uh, saying, uh, laughing these people, you guys are sitting and getting the banana instead of trying and doing it. They said, uh, no, 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 don't do that. Why? No, if you do that, they will pour out. Hot water, so I think if it is coming, if you go by the rope, I think you are focusing it. Why don't we use the ladder? So that the new monkey and the other two, they pushed the ladder near to that, started uh, getting up. And by that time, this time, cold water poured on that new monkey. And the rest of them said, uh, what happened? No, they are pouring water. We told that, right? So you, you should not try that one. No, no, you said hot water, but they poured cold water. But, uh, oh, is it so cold water? I can manage it. So another next monkey tried it, it went up to 75%, again, cold water poured, it came, third monkey. So slowly they came down and then they sat, uh, again, they got the banana. So one by one, this old monkeys are replaced by the new monkey. All the three new monkeys are there. And uh, even the first one who came and got the experience of the cold water, 
that also replaced now all the new monkeys so they are uh, having the rope they are having the ladder and uh, even now they just put the banana off the way so it is not fully in the roof so if really this monkeys can do one jump i think they can pick up that but they are not doing it any guesses why so vishu uh, it could be they, they could have learned the lesson from the other monkeys uh, thinking that we should mm-hmm. not do if you climb you will get uh, you will get punished that is number one number two they are content with what they have they are not going beyond what they want these are the two reasons that could be okay and uh, they have a bias Fine, or, or, a so, or, or bias. probably we should uh, <clears throat> it may be because uh, they may be thinking because they were already monkeys earlier and uh, they were not able to pick it up so it's got a mindset telling that since they were not able to achieve i will also not be able to achieve it okay or maybe they forgot that their own unique skill is jumping uh, or hopping uh-huh. and uh, they had a bias and they just kept fixed that i have to either go through the rope or a ladder but not do what i am actually good at yeah maybe they yes. got content so, with you know they got content with once they started getting food i think the drive to get more or different probably stop because they got content with whatever they are getting rather than trying for betterment okay okay good good so i think you, you these are the different perspectives it's coming uh, simple as um, one is that manav highlighted the forgetting the the nature what uh, you you may have the nature and uh, uh, if you look at uh, whatever you are today doing it during the school days or college days if somebody asked what do you want to become you would have told something but what you are doing is today it's it's based on the compulsion or environment or society or the education what you pursued so it is trying to prove i am better here i am better here so forgetting the your nature that uh, uh, what is you are good or what is you are really passionate to do that so that's where uh, the growth mindset uh, growth mindset is it's more learning and uh, it's more uh, see what are the different ways to do things and uh, also um, you you should not leave your nature what uh, you have that so maybe the jump itself if if they the other monkeys instead of using it if they try that jumping uh, so they would have uh, able to reach to the floor uh, roof level able to grab it but they not tried it so they were trying to do that so similar way we always try to get some tools and techniques uh, which can help us to grow fast or we try to get something uh, make it our um, uh, ability to prove to others saying that yes i am also able to do that but uh, the growth mindset uh, it's always uh, learning from whatever you are capable from that you can getting into the next level also uh, you can keep learning uh, that i can also do that that is the belief of uh, people are nowadays losing it i can also do that so that uh, keep you learn that i can do i can do so that itself take you to the height which you want to reach it so that mindset part let's move to the next one now the uh, second part is the approach uh, here uh, basically uh, currently like um, on the professional side uh, maybe you are managing the projects and programs maybe you are delivering it have you heard about this pmtq any guesses what is pmtq the expansion of pmtq project management technology quotient okay so basically uh, this day by day there's a lot of changes in the technology and uh, the new triangle talent triangle is looking for the uh, project management technical skill and uh, business and domain knowledge and leadership skill but this technology quotient is uh, keep on changing it so what what we have to do for that so we need to always have the curiosity and uh, we have to have the uh, inclusive leadership you should not uh, think about only getting your leads and managers for any discussion you can consider your trainees or if you have a um, 
people who have come for uh, what is that uh, training programs uh, even if when they are in the college your people are coming for the training programs you can include them also in that or any of the initiative you want to do third one it's a future proof talent pool and uh, uh, this is people will say how we can say future proof actually 5 6 years before when cloud came everybody said no no cloud is insecure we we are not supposed to look into that so our customer will not allow all that but today what is the situation everybody going behind the cloud so if whoever uh, awaken 5 6 years before so they are minting money and uh, their career is changed uh, who realize that the cloud is more important so more detail maybe you can go to www.pmi.org so there a uh, pulse of profession so it is free for everybody pulse of profession in that uh, you can get this pmtq uh, you can download that white paper you can go through in detail let's go to the next one uh, click so the second thing is nowadays uh, we have lot of uh, frameworks and uh, uh, lot of methodologies are coming which one to do all that so that second part is wow so we it's way of working and uh, whichever works for you it may not work for others so better choose which is working for you so find out that the way of working and again this is also you can get into the pmi.org so they are more uh, talking about this and uh, if you are going to handle the problem of your customer what you need to do if there is a opportunity which you are going to serve to the customer what you have to do so lot of free materials are available uh, you can utilize it so that uh, you can uh, get the uh, hang of uh, where the industries are heading so which frameworks works what time and uh, which scenario we have to do what so that kind of a flavor you will get and uh, have all this but you are uh, um the way of your leadership whatever you are doing uh, it needs to be uh, really have the big change so that's why i put this 2c coaching and consulting actually it's a 3c uh, i follow but uh, when once you are getting matured more and more on the coaching side so the third part is like if you get some psychological uh, certification or course you can do counseling also you may understand that there is a need of uh, such things for the people because now the emotional questions are getting questioned again and again people even though they have iq all that but sometimes this emotional questions are are really uh, getting in different tangents so some of the leaders we have to play the counseling role also but today just i want to insist on uh, you focus on the coaching and consulting no more Uh, the direction leadership or all that so you need to coach the people you have to adopt the servant leadership so first then lead next so that is the model and it's very successfully across the industry it's happening and also with your customer or whoever you are working so have the consulting mode never ever uh, conduct directly and uh, do that so have the consulting mode because this uh coaching and consulting is more and more required uh this kind of a pandemic situations and also maybe post pandemic also there will be a some recession to come overcome and uh, uh to face the new normal also this coaching and consulting is very very important and uh, the third part as i said counseling if you feel get a chance if you are more than do two decades of experience all that so try to get the psychological aspect of uh, handling the people and do that so once you get that maybe you can add the counseling also we we cannot get the people and uh, give the advice to them so it is more we have to uh, do counseling for them so that is the third angle of uh, approach we need to look at so the third part is when you have the mindset and you have a different approaches and uh, when you know that uh, um how to 
consult them or uh, how to coaching them uh, you are ready for the transformation so for that again uh, you need to focus on three areas one is uh, before i get into that the reason why i'm saying this consulting and coaching is uh, today there is people are getting confused by uh, mentoring or getting things done from the people uh, okay i will tell one story so that that it helps you to understand quickly uh, there is a uh, there was a kingdom in that uh, the king was uh, having a very big uh, force and he has very good uh, treasury and all that is happening but he wants to find out uh, the person who can take over from it's more uh, your uh, uh, planning for your team like who the next person can take my team kind of that so he announced that uh, uh, whoever is the very good uh, swimmer so they can uh, cross the a lake which is there in our uh, country uh, behind the palace so that person uh, will get the uh, 50% of my country and they will be handled for ruling that country for few years so but one challenge is there are crocodile in that uh, lake so he announced but people nobody uh, come forward to do that all and then he said okay so now i will give one more option also uh, one more additional thing like uh, whoever crossing it uh, without get bite from the crocodile so they will get the con- half of the country also they will get married my daughter also so still uh, nobody is there so then he said okay but i will become a mentor and i will give that entire country and my daughter and everything to that person whoever is on so by that time he finishing that statement there's a he, everybody hearing the noise that somebody jumped and uh, the person is crossing and uh, it's uh, uh, very fast and that guy uh, uh, crossed the lake and uh, came out and uh, the king was very astonished and he went and asked that person how come like when i said first time you didn't jump and second time and third time so what really made you so is that you wanted everything then only you got that uh, thrive and jump it he said first of all i want to know who is the person pushed me in the lake it's actually the person not jumped on his own somebody pushed him on the lake so because of the fear factor is there a crocodile so he just holding his life and he just crossed and came out so this story what it says is there are people even though they have the potential somebody need for them to push it that is the way one perspective the another perspective is uh, people are needed very big thing then only they want to take the risk and always you need the somebody like people will say mentor all that but that mentors are uh, pushing you in the unknown area so your uh, potential talents are coming out during that time so try to become a, um, a very good uh, coach and uh, consultant uh, by just saying i am mentoring somebody don't put them in the risk or put them in the trouble but it may give the end result but it goes wrong you think about what the life will be gone so take a very cautious way uh, because nowadays everybody trying to give the advice to others but um, ensure uh, if unless people have the willingness to listen you don't give any advice so that is the um, story which is more related to uh, coaching and consulting so coming to the transformation and uh, first area is everybody says transformation means uh, okay maybe i have put the, all this one but in your understanding what do you feel transformation so maturing uh, ensuring okay. maturing maturing Oh, maturing. maturing. Sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Achieving the same thing in a different manner. Okay. Achieving the same thing in a different manner, uh, which will but help for people in terms of actually saving money. 
saving time uh, as well as bringing up a good quality also there. Okay. Uh, changing yourself, yeah. changing yourself to accommodate the current trend and to be adapt with what's happening. That's transformation. Okay. Or maybe uh, Vishu, don't you think? Maybe I think personally is that what we talked just few minutes back on mindset as well as approach, and that's exactly the pillars for transformation, and that's transformation that we change our mindset from fixed to growth, and uh, similarly our approach. Okay, so Manav, uh, anyway, are you Sagittarius? I am not. I am Leo. Okay. Okay. Fine, <laughs> because it's kind of some of the things you are reading from my mind. Okay, and um, oh. see uh, uh, this mindset and approach. Why I put this third is sir. These are the those are the two basic things needed for the transformation. So once you are done yourself and uh, um, change from um, you know, Bucks, Bucks also highlighted that. So self one so. Unless you are convinced and you have done the change, you may not able to do it for others or to the team or to the organization. So change management is basically uh, nowadays it is very painful. The change management itself need lot of change. That is how uh, the change managements are happening. And uh, people like change, but they don't like being changed. That is the strongest message I like to give it to you. People like change, but they don't like being changed. So that is the basic uh, challenge we face when we talk about transformation or change management. And uh, it's uh, also the, as I said, the change management itself need to go through a lot of changes. Uh, if you look at the, they have a process and uh, you go and put something weekly once they will conduct the call and review so that is in the it world uh, we are talking about change management but any places uh, any policy or anything need to be changed that change management is not happening uh, the way it is expected so uh, that's where this agility comes into the uh, next one so people uh, understanding today like uh, in the it world uh, uh, after strategy, the most uh, word used is agile. But uh, how many people really follow that or really use it is um, it's it's million question. And um, nowadays, even the enabling functions like support functions, like HR, uh, all these people also started talking about this agility, or they will talk agile. So more and more. So agile is even again give the. Um, Confusion, like uh, there's a methodology, agile methodology in that we have a different thing. So that's why I'm not using that agile word. So it's more agility. We need to have the agility so that uh, there will be a quick way you can uh, uh, respond to the changes and uh, you can adopt it and you can be flexible. Also, you can um, uh, move in the growth path very fast. And uh, finally, the creative thinking. So this is, uh, people now talk about the design thinking, but uh, design development, all that. So again, uh, we have the confusion there. But uh, the problem is we are getting into more and more analysis, data, and the project uh, management. All that is there, so we use our left brain. So that left brain is predominantly for analysis and doing this kind of a structured way of working. But there's uh, half of the 50% of the brain is not used much. That is the right side of the brain. So that has to be get stimulated uh, for that to be how to do something in the creative way. So I think you guys uh, sensed it. That's why you started uh, having this storytelling sessions. So maybe by through story, we can learn certain things and share the knowledges. So it's a good approach. So similarly, like, uh, we can have uh, some painting workshops and uh, online uh, um, the, the gamifications are a lot of uh, helping now for the creative thinking. So you can think about uh, having the online uh, such gaming gamings also. So creative thinking, it means people thinking that, okay, I should 
the earlier days, uh, the movie directors, producers, uh, the writer, everybody go and sit in some hill station and uh, then only they will say uh, the creative will come. So it's nothing like that. Uh, the creative is uh, basically when you used your right brain, so you, you think about something hypothetically or you assume something it will going to happen or some of the scenarios you may imagine and it is going to happen uh, in future. So then for that, what we need to do. So such things, I think, uh, helps you to drive that creativity. Uh, for that, uh, you, you cannot alone or do that. You have to do it as a team. So try to do a lot of idea fishing. So that idea of fishing will help you uh, to get into some um, things to do it differently, which you are doing currently. And also that ideation can, you, when you implement, it can become the invention. And then after you've done that invention, reaping some benefit of for doing some pilot or POC, and uh, you can find that, uh, can it scale up and uh, make it as a business? So that's where you can uh, bring many other people and see a lot of what are the exponential factors you can bring it to that and uh, take that invention to as an innovation and also add more and more unique and do a lot of uh, comparison with uh, what the market uh, things are available, how you are different from that. And uh, by doing all this, in future, after 10 years, if you think about some scenario, during that time, my product or my service will help. So if if it helps, how it will do that? So get that kind of a scenario based uh, thinking and then your solution or the whichever product you are developing, it helps you to meet the, that futuristic requirement. If you're not doing it, maybe you do something one to two years. And uh, now, now you, if you look at uh, Airbnb CEO today is trying saying that 12 years we have done, but in six years, six months, sorry, in six weeks, we lost everything. So that kind of a thing should not happen. So have a more hypothetical and um, uh, very futuristic scenario in that kind of a workshop or boot camp you are doing. So try to involve the, the junior most to people also, because those are the guys, the millennials have the a lot of, uh, I think they, they do a lot uh, uh, balanced activities on the right and left uh, nowadays. So by playing some video games and uh, mobile games, so they are doing it. So we can use them in the right way. So that's why I'm saying involve those people. They will come up with a totally out-of-box uh, solution or out-of-box uh, future. They will ask you to include in your uh, whatever innovation you are doing it. So these are the people uh, have the lot of zeal. And uh, from them also you can learn and uh, maybe you can guide them how uh, fine tune this, whatever the thought process they have and to get the outcome is very well. So this three of them, uh, it's a very important thing during the transformation. And uh, on top of this, people now talk about business agility transformation. People are talking about uh, digital transformation. People are talking about uh, totally getting into AML, all that. So those are all like a, things which will be there another two, three years or maximum five years then. But basic principles and these are the values if we follow. Uh, I think our growth will be more horizontal. So now people are not, no more vertical growth is not going to happen like hierarchical nature. So it is more horizontally you grow. I think there's a lot of chance you to jump from one position to the another position very fast. So it's not only in the um, professional life. The way I am saying is uh, even in your personal life and uh, in your social life, uh, because day by day, uh, this private and public collaboration is getting a more importance. So down the line, if you are going to start on your own or you want to uh, have a partnership with somebody or you, you are joining a startup or 
So these are the basic things uh, really needed uh, for anybody who wants to shine in their um, professional, personal, and social life. So basically, you can present your life very well. So PPS is basically our PowerPoint presentation slideshow, right? So PPS, so you can have a very shining life uh, by adopting all this. So if somebody asks, can I win it all that? I'm uh, by doing all this, say, I don't know how I am going to win, but I just know I'm not going to lose. So if you have this mat, this mindset approach and transformation, this transformation period uh, differs people to people based on their capability. Some people, uh, they do in three months to six months. Some people do it in six months to 12 months. Some people want to two years, two to three years. So in my life, I keep changing every two years once my role. So then uh, initial six months, focus on that, what I have to do. Then next to one year, I will perform and uh, next to six months, perform on that. And they excel in that the next six months. So by the time 18 months over, the next six months, parallelly, I started working. What is that next I have to do? So that six months get prepared for me to uh, acquire the another role. So that's the way I able to play different roles from um, technology, DBA to even I did a SQA software quality, then HR role, finance role, and uh, then got into project management program. Then again, operation, getting into CDO's office, CEO's office. So I felt uh, to share my journey also, like uh, these are the three things are uh, really helped me and uh, faster growth in my career and uh, getting more and more uh, uh, connect with these senior executives, like uh, working with the CXOs. So it's really very good exposure. I got that. So that's why my last uh, only one word of uh, one advice is acquire mat. So you can be the mat. Uh, actually, the typical meaning of the mat, uh, it can be a door mat, it can be a floor mat, it can be a yoga mat or whatever. But the purpose may be different. So, but you you may use it in a different places in a different way. But uh, people cannot avoid you. So that is the um, essence of. Uh, Acquiring the mat.